Hey guys, it's Matt from Model Flight. Today we'll be going through the firmware updates on the Q500, the ST10, and also the SeaGo2 camera. For this, you'll need the unique Q500, a USB adapter, a micro SD card, an SD card adapter, the ST10 transmitter, and your computer. As firmware becomes readily available, you'll be able to find it by going to the unique website clicking onto support, clicking onto downloads, and scrolling down until you find the firmware box. While you are here, download all the appropriate firmware and the GUI located in the GUI box for Mac or Windows depending on your operating system. To update the firmware in your Q500 Typhoon, open the battery hatch at the back, locate the receiver wire that's velcroed to the top right hand side of the body. Disconnect the receiver and plug in your USB adapter. Hold the wires to one side and insert the battery. Now open up the GUI on your computer and power on the craft. From here the sensor information box will open and if you move your Q500, you will see the appropriate movement about midway down the GUI. Click onto Device Information and click on Firmware Update. Locate the firmware file that you just downloaded. Click Update and a status screen will appear. When this is complete, you will be asked to restart the Q500. On completion, the sensor information box will reappear and the Q500's firmware will be up to date. Disconnect the USB adapter and reconnect the receiver wire. Remove the battery and reinsert the receiver wire inside of the Q500. To update the firmware on the ST10, locate your ST10 firmware file and extract the zip file. Copy the document firmware and update zip to your micro SD card, making sure that you do not extract the update zip file. Remove the battery cover at the rear of the transmitter. Remove the battery from inside and locate the micro SD card holder in the center of the transmitter. Open up the SD card holder and place your micro SD card inside. Place the battery back inside the battery cradle and close the battery cover. Next, power on the transmitter. From the home screen, hit System Settings and press OK. Click on About Flight Mode Control and scroll down to the bottom until you get to System Update. Click OK and the transmitter will restart. Once again, click onto System Settings and press OK. Click onto About Flight Mode Control, scroll down to Radio Control Update. Click on the file in the top left hand corner of the screen and press Update TX. On completion, a screen will appear letting you know that the update was a success. This completes the firmware update for the ST10 transmitter. To update the firmware on the SeaGo2, locate your SeaGo2 firmware file. Copy the SeaGo2 firmware to a micro SD card and insert the SD card to the bottom of the SeaGo2. Power on the SeaGo2 and you should notice the camera LED turn red and then flash purple. This means that the SeaGo2 is updating. After the purple flashing has finished, the LED will turn off. This means that the update is finished, repower the SeaGo2 and make sure it can turn on correctly. This completes the firmware update process for the Q500, the SC10 and the SeaGo2 camera. If you have any questions, post them down in the comments below. I'm Matt from Waterflight. See you next time.